Little known Rebecca Karubo goes about her typical day carrying out her duties as a security guard at one of the village market mall entrances, leaving no one unchecked. What with all the Al Shabaab terror threat still looming over the country. Her encounter just barely four days ago, though, having already made headlines. The 33-year-old woman now shielded from the glares of our camera by strict rules that have since seen filming the area, let alone interviewing her bird. But we still trace the mother of three to her compound in Gashir, a woman still flustered by a New Year's Eve encounter that she vividly recalls to the last detail. Unknown to her, at 6.18 p.m. she was about to frisk not just your ordinary customer. <laughs> The woman in question, Kenya's Deputy Chief Justice, who doubles up as the Vice President to the Supreme Court, Nancy Baraza, sworn in last year to spearhead comprehensive reforms within the country's judiciary alongside Chief Justice Dr. Willy Mutunga. Kerubo, on her part, claiming that she did not even for a split second recognize her. Her encounter quickly turning from bad to worse. You, I want you to shoot this lady now. Okay, Mama mwenyewe alipotea muda kidogo baada ya karudi na gun akaniambia I want to kill you now. If you want I can kill you now. From there hasa watu wakaja. Ikawa sasa kila mtu anataka kujua nini kinaendelea. Hata kesi ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya ilipidi simame. Sasa nikaanza kulia nikamwambia madam please madam please madam. Sasa ndio sijui aliona hao watu wengi ndio akaacha hiyo akarudisha gun chini. Mi hatua yenye nilichukua nilitoroka. Such the claims from a security guard that have since seen the Deputy Chief Justice issue a press statement to newsrooms saying in part, quote, the unfortunate incident at the village market should be viewed in light of the genuine security apprehension on my part. I certainly had no intention of high-handedness, arrogance or ill will. At this point, it would be inappropriate and prejudicial to make further comment on a matter which is under active police investigation and court. Having undergone public scrutiny and later appointed the Deputy Chief Justice, Baraza has since spoken out strongly about judicial reforms and the need to not only strengthen the justice system but more so to transform it and respect the rule of law. However, this particular incident is now said to have caused huge embarrassment to the new top management of the judiciary as it would appear to fly in the face of their stated objective of reforming the judiciary, partly by ensuring that the rule of law was adhered to by all and sundry. I know the shortcomings of our judiciary. I know them inside out. I would want to be remembered as one of the judges that created jurisprudence uh, for this country that gave uh, life to the Constitution. 
Chapter 6, Article 75A of the Constitution says, quote, A state officer shall behave whether in public and official life, in private life, or in association with other persons in a manner that avoids any conflict between personal interests and public or official duties, end quote. The village market management has since issued a statement saying the stringent security measures at various entry points at the mall court apply to all persons visiting the village market without exception, end quote. Salim Bilu, Citizen, live at 9.